Hey everyone, uh, we are going to look at um, factoring quadratic with the leading coefficient using the AC method. Alright, so uh, again, just remember that the general form for the quadratic expression is AX squared plus BX plus C. Uh, so the reason we call it the AC method is because of the first step where we multiply the first coefficient times the last coefficient. So we come out to the side, and we're going to multiply 7 times negative 2, which is negative 14. Now we want to find factors of negative 14 that gives us the sum of the middle number, middle coefficient, which is 13. So I'll make a table, factor of negative 14, where those two factors also give me the sum of negative 13. So since I'm trying to find factors of a negative number, I know that one factor must be positive and the other factor must be negative because a positive times a negative is a negative. And I want my sum to equal negative 13, so I know the absolute value of um, the negative number of the larger number should be negative. So uh, we know that uh, 1 and 14, of course, so 1 and negative 14. 1 times negative 14 is negative 14. 1 times negative 14 is uh, 1 plus negative 14 is negative 13. So there we go. We got it first off. That's what we needed. Now, since we had a coefficient other than 1 as our leading coefficient, then I'm going to use the AC method to factor this, which means I'm trying to rewrite this into four terms and then group. So right now, I'm going to rewrite this um, This trinomial into four terms by splitting up the negative 13y or rewriting the negative 13y using the coefficients I just found in my table. So 7y squared, and if I have a choice, if I have a positive and a negative, I usually put the negative coefficient first. It really doesn't matter. It makes it a little bit easier though. So negative 14y plus 1y and then minus 2. So the only thing that I did there, I rewrote the trinomial but I split up that negative 13y to negative 14y plus 1y. Alright so now I want to factor by grouping. So I'm going to make two groups. So I have 17y squared minus 14y plus the understood 1y minus 2. I uh, factor out the GCF from each group. So the GCF for that first group is 7y. The common factor of y minus 2, the only common factor they have is 1. So I'm going to factor out a positive 1. And then factor out the y minus 2, the common binomial of y minus 2. So I factor this out of each one of those, the y minus 2. And when I factor that out, just to show you, I'm really dividing by y minus 2. And that leaves me with 7y plus 1 in my other parentheses. Now remember, you can always check your answer by uh, multiplying this back out by using your distributed property of FOIL and you should end up with your original expression. Alrighty, let's look at another example. Okay, so we have 2z squared minus 19z plus 30. Alright, so I don't have a common factor all the way across, so there's nothing that I can divide or factor out from that expression, that trinomial. So I'll come over here and start off with my AC method. 2 times positive 30, which equals 60. So I want to find factors of 60 that gives me a sum of negative 19, the middle coefficient. So since I'm trying to multiply to get a positive number, I know the only way to do that, the only two ways to do that is either two positive numbers or two negative numbers. 
and I want my sum to be negative so I know that I'm, I must use two negative numbers as my factors so if I start going through my factors I know 1 and 60 so negative 1 times negative 60 and negative 1 plus negative 60 is negative 61 what about 2? 2 will go into 60 30 times so 2 and 30 I know they must be negative because I want my sum to be negative it gives me negative 32 could try 3 uh, but it's going to be 4 and 15 so negative 4 times negative 15 is positive 60 and both of those those factors uh, those numbers add up to be negative 19 give me a sum of negative 19 so now I have my two factors that I need to rewrite the negative 19 so I will have four terms and when I have four terms I can factor by grouping so instead of negative 19 Z I have negative 4 Z and uh, negative 15 Z and then plus 30 so now I have four terms now I can factor this by grouping so remember with the grouping we want to make two groups of binomials and on this step right here we always want a plus in between the two groups on this step so that minus 15 Z will become negative 15 Z in the parentheses okay in fact off the GCF from each group so in this first group here I have 2z so 2 divided by 2 that cancels out z squared divided by z just leaves me with z 4z divided by 2z the z's cancel out 4 divided by 2 is 2 all right, and then my second group, remember if you have a negative on that third coefficient, more than likely you will need to factor out a negative number to make your signs match up in the binomials, the remaining binomials. So I know 15 will go into 15z and 30, but I need to factor out a negative 15, uh, just a negative 15. All right, so, uh, negative divided by negative makes that positive z and then positive divided by negative makes that negative or minus two and then the final step factor out the common binomial and the common binomial for these two would be z minus two so remember that means we're dividing by z minus two here to factor it out and that leaves me with 2z minus 15 in the other parentheses all righty let's look at one more example all right so this one we have 2x squared plus 15xy let me go back down so you can see the topic there uh, 2x squared plus 15xy plus 25y squared. Alright, so again, the first thing I look for is a common factor all the way across. I don't have a fat common factor for those three terms. I see that I have a trinomial or three terms, so I want to try to factor by grouping or factor by the AC method. So 2 times 25. 50 so I want factors of 50 to give me a sum of my middle coefficient of 15 uh, so I see that my um, product here is positive 50 so I know I should either have two positive factors or two negative factors my sum is positive 15 that tells me that I need to have two positive factors that will multiply to be 50 and add up to be 15. All right, so one times 50 is 50. Add those, that's 51. Uh, two will go into 50, and you can keep going, and we get to five times 10. 
is 50. Add those up, that gives us 15. So those are my two factors that I'm going to use when I go back and rewrite this expression here. So again, remember, we're going to split up the 15xy using those two factors that we just found. So you want to keep the xy, so 2x squared times plus 5xy plus 10xy. So when we split those up, they should add up to be uh, the original number in the middle there. So 5xy plus 10xy is 15xy. Okay, so once we have it written in four terms, remember with four terms, we factor by grouping. So that's the whole purpose of us going through these steps is to uh, rewrite it into four terms so we can factor by grouping. Alright, so we make our two groups and then we factor the GCF from each group. So the GCF of the first group is simply X. The first term has X squared and then 5XY, so they have an X in common. Okay, so that leaves me in the parentheses with 2X plus 5Y. The GCF in the second group, um, let's see, for the 10 and the 25 would be 5, and then they both have a Y in common, so 5Y. All right, so if I divide that first one by 5Y, that gives me, uh, leave 10 divided by 5 is 2, the Y's cancel, so that leaves me with 2X plus 25 divided by 5 is 5 and y squared uh, divided by y is y so plus 5y and we see we have that common binomial of 2x plus 5y in both places there so now I can factor out the 2x plus 5y and I have x plus 5y remaining to go in the second parentheses All right, so how can you check this? Let's just check this one so you'll know how to check these. So we'll check it by uh, multiplying this back out uh, using our distributive property. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 5y is 15xy, or 10xy, sorry. And then we want to distribute the 5y to each one of those. So 5y times x is 5xy. And 5y times 5y is 25y squared. So we multiply that back out, combine the like terms here in the middle. 10 plus 5 is 15, xy plus 25y squared. And you see that that's equal to our original uh, problem, the original expression there. So that's how you can check those by multiplying them back out. Hey guys, I hope, ladies and gents, I hope you found this to be helpful. Uh, thank you.